Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the types of slip. In this lecture, I will mention I will mention some of the main types and the subtypes of the slips. So first of all, to define the slip, slip is a horizontal flexure member like a beam, but beam is a line element while slip is a area element area element while beam is a line element it's also a flexure member like the beam uh, it also possesses the bending movements like the beam so let's consider this is the RTC frame structure and the slab is a portion of the structure which supports the load it supports the load from all sides these may be the loads of the furniture this may be the loads of the people moving uh, uh, inside the building so the whole load is coming on the slabs and then slabs transfer the load into the beams then from the beam it transfers the load into the columns so slab is the moon slab is the main portion of the structure by which load is acting right so here I will now discuss some types of the slabs there are some uh, further classification in the slabs so let's coming to the discuss the types of slab the first type of the slab is the conventional solid slab. Is the conventional solid slab. This is the type of slab which uh, which is being supported by the beams and column only. Beams and column. This is the type of the slab which is only supported by the beams and columns. It means this is a slab. It's mostly used slab in the daily life structures. This is the beams supported by beams, and this is all supported by beams on all sides. And here is the columns. So this type of structure, which is only supported by the beams and columns, this type of slab we call is the conventional solid slab. And there are further two classification of the slabs. One is the one-way slab, one-way slab, and the other is the two-way slab. Two-way slab. I have uploaded the video between difference between the one-way and two-way slab. You can watch the video. I will give the link in the description. And the one-way slab, the longer to shorter span ratio is greater than two, while the two-way slab, the longer to shorter span ratio is less than two. Consider the one-way. There is a one-way span. Uh, there is a one length and there is other length. So if the longer span to shorter ratio is greater than two, we call it the one way slab. And if it's shorter than two, we call it the two way slab. But it should be supported by the beams and columns. So we call this a conventional solid slab. Another type of the slab is the flat slab. Sorry, the, yeah, the flat slab. We can see the flat slab. So these are the type. This, this is the type of the slab which is supported only by column. For example, consider this is the slab, and there is no beam in this type of slab. This is only supported by the columns. Maybe consider this the, the center of the slab with the column, and the whole load now is supported. The whole load is coming from the slab is supported by this column. The whole load is moving to this column. So we call this type of slab as the, as the flat slab. But there are four different types of the subtypes in the flat slab. Let's discuss one by one. The first one is the flat slab with the drop panel. Drop panel. Consider this is a slab and this is a column at the center of the slab which is we, as we discussed earlier that this type of slab is only supported by the columns. So when the load is coming on this slab it transfer it transfer into the column and this load acts downward while the column moves in upward direction. So I have discussed some video about the punching shear. You can also watch the video I give in the link in the description that there is some punching phenomena occurs in this portion. The load acts downward while the column moves upward. So, 
punching shell creates at this location so what we do we increase the depth of the uh, we, dip, we increase the depth of the slab at this portion this is a column so what we do we increase the depth of the slab at this portion to wide the punching shear so what is this called this call is the punching this is called is a drop panel because we drop the slab and to avoid the shear failure punching shear failure so we call it a drop panel fillet slab the second one is the column capital it is it is a subtype of this fillet slab in which we what we do in which we do the in which we increase the column size in which we increase the column size like this we increase the column size at the at the junction with the slab so we call this type of slab is the column capital now in this case we increase the size of the column at the junction with the slab so we call it the column capital and the third one is the when we use both the drop panel panel and the column capital so we call it the third type of the flat slab and the fourth one is the when without any use without any use of drop panel and the column capital means there is no use of column capital and the drop panel only just the column is supported so we call it the flat slab there are four subtypes of the flat slab the third one is the here i will mean, write the third ripple slab system is the third type of the main slab Ripple slab system. So this is this type of the slab in which the beams are very thin, but more beams. Usually, consider this is the slab, and this is the type of the slab in which is which is supported by beams, but these beams are really thin in dimensions, and their depth and width are really less, and we use more beams. And these beams are now called a joist in case of the wafer slab. Because their dimension is very really less and thin. So there are further two types. One, one we call is the one way ripped system. One way ripped. One way ripped system. Ribbed. And the other one we call is the, this is the one way because the beams are moving only in one direction. And the other one is the two way ripped system we call it the two-way rep system two-way rep system in the case of the two-way the beams are moving the joists are moving in both the directions so we call it the two-way rep system this type of slip system are used in the in the high floor residential buildings where we need more headrooms so we don't use the beams uh, but we use the smaller depth of beams and these are called is the joist like these beams so these were the three main types of the beams or oh, sorry the three main types of the slabs i have discussed with you guys and uh, so don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video